<laughs> well, I'm delighted to say that the boys join us now. And you've got to tell me, is, is it actually like that when you're all sitting around having a chat? I mean, I know obviously this is film, you're, an act you're actors. Are you saying that they are like that in the car? I just have this in, vision yeah. that you are. When we're on set, we all regress to quite a terrible, immature level. <laughs> yeah, it gets quite ridiculous. And we do like being in the car like that, like even just as as people, we like kind of bantering. Yeah, no one can really get to us because we're in our car, we've got the mics on and everything, and we're on like a low loader, which means that the crew are on like a lorry that's dragging us along, and so we can just misbehave as the much as we want, and there's no one to tell us off. We can see really. them, or they wear, they're wearing earpieces so they can hear our sort of little jokes. But so they have no yeah. control over They can't, yeah, exactly. exactly. Did, they, did, they, did they leave you then, Simon, occasion, just to uh, improvise, the four of you? As you Absolutely got to know, not. No, no, <laughs> they don't trust us. They're Categorically not. that be dangerous? Um, well, there, actually, there, there was a tiny bit more improvisation on this film. Yeah, we gave, we, gave it, we gave it a go. But yeah. actually, Ian and Damon, who are the writers, spend so long on it and are so good that there's no need for us to improvise, really. Yeah. And I've seen them interview the four of you as well, and clearly you know them all. They know you, and you know them inside out as yeah. well. And in that interview, you'll give them a really hard time. Yeah, too hard, yeah. I think. I think we've actually... <laughs> we've alienated them. I think we've them. actually... <laughs> yeah. we, they, yeah. directed, they directed for the first time on this second film. We've always had a, a different director. And it was a bit like um, the sort of teacher leaving the room and one of the other students being asked to run the class. Oh, we couldn't take them seriously <laughs> at all. I imagine you're quite a formidable force when you all sort of join together though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think basically we've got the full weight of our learning behind us, but we're sort of behaving like children. Um, so it's a bit like sort of, it's essentially adults who've been allowed to behave like children. Yeah. One, so of, the, one of the most exciting things for, for me when I first started watching The In is Jay was suddenly there was, um, James, what did you say? Uh, the, the, suddenly there was this this program that just reminded me of being in my sixth form years with my mates. Was and it striking it was, a chord? Uh, it? <laughs> and, and as soon as we all started watching it together, we all picked a character that we might have been. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't want to say who <laughs> I, was. <laughs> I, I, I was. I was probably near and I near. I think we all know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, James, is that, is that something that, that, that you, you that is fantastic because it resonates with so many people now still? I think there is. Uh, there's certainly an element of nostalgia about it. What, what's interesting is it is uh, it was originally supposed to be set in the 80s. And it was, you know, it was. It's very autobiographical, really, for the for the writers. Yeah. Um, Embarrassingly so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, clearly. And they, you know, it was about their life and about them growing up. And you know, they had this idea of setting it in the eighties, but you could have set it any time. It, it, it would still work. And I, I think if you do get a group of guys together, whether it's at school, in the office, in the pub, you know, if there's just a a, an environment where it's just guys, yeah. they will revert to yeah. that. We're pathetic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're pathetic.